All right, here's some uh, linear function equations. <clears throat> First question says find the slope and the y-intercept. So if I take a look at that graph, it might be a little hard to see, but it looks like it crosses right there. So if it crosses the y-axis at there, then the y-intercept is going to be zero. And then to find the slope, I just have to figure out from any point to another point, and it's sort of hard to tell, but I think there's one right there. Hey, maybe I'll be, I can zoom in. Oh, here we go. So if I zoom in, I think that that point uh, is a point right there. So if I go from this point to that point, I'd have to go up one, two, three, four, and over one. So slope is rise over run. So this had to rise four and I ran one. And so my slope is four. So to write the equation, you're supposed to write the equation in this format. And so if the slope is four, I put that in for M and the y-intercept is zero. So I put a zero there. Now adding zero doesn't change anything. So I probably would just write the equation like that. Okay, this next question, a little bit different than that one, but it still asks you to write a slope-intercept equation. So I still have to do the y equals mx plus b thing. They tell me the slope. I put that in for the m. Um, but then they don't tell me a y-intercept. They just tell me a point that's on the line. Well, if they give me a point that's on the line, that's an x value and a y value. And I can plug those in wherever I see an x and a y. Because what I want to figure out is what that y-intercept is. So the y is a 9 is equal to 2 fifteenths times the x is a 5 plus b. Now I just solve for b. So if I multiply this, this would be 10 over 15 plus b. I'll subtract that on each side. And then um, 9 minus 10, I think 10 over 15 is the same as 2 thirds. And if you subtract those, I think you get 8 and 1 third. If you convert that, I think that's 25 over 3 as well. So that's what my y-intercept is. Now I can write the equation of the line. It's supposed to look like this. The slope I already know is 2 fifteenths x, and I just found the y-intercept to be that. So plus 25 over 3. All right, so those, those are questions. This next question is similar to that one, but they make you find the slope first. So if they give it to you in this notation here, what that means is that for an x value of 3, you get a y value of negative 3. So that's a point. So this one for an x value of negative 1, y is 13. So I need to get uh, right a function. This time they didn't give me a slope, nor did they give me a y-intercept. But I have two points that has an x1 and a y1, x2 and a y2. So now I can solve for the slope. So the slope, here's the formula for slope. So y2 is 13 minus y1 is a negative 3, careful there, over x2 is a negative 1 minus x1 is a 3. So this would be 13 plus 3 would be 16 over negative 4. And if you divide those, nice that it came out even, your slope's negative 4. So if I rewrite my equation, y is equal to mx plus b, um, the slope is a negative 4. Negative 4x plus b. Now I can do the same thing as I did in the last question to figure out what uh, the y-intercept is because I know an x and a y value. I actually know two of them. I just use one. I do, you don't have to do use both. So let's use this one. So the y value is 13, slope negative 4, and the x value is a negative 1 plus b. So 13 is equal to a positive 4. So if I subtract 4 on each side, I think I get a 9. So my equation of the line is h of x, or y, is equal to slope uh, negative 4x, and my y-intercept is a positive 9. 
Then they ask a follow-up question. They say, well, what's h of 2? So what they're saying is plug a 2 in everywhere you see an x. So negative 4 times 2 plus 9. That would be a negative 8 plus 9. And negative 8 plus 9 is equal to a positive 1. So the value of the function called h, when you plug a 2 in for x, is equal to 1. All right, here's another question that's uh, really the exact same question as one before. The only difference with this one is that they give us years here, and they're saying let x represent the year where x is 0 is 1994. So instead of 1994 here, I'm going to write 0 and 51.7. And then um, uh, this date here, 1998, that's four years after 1994, so that would be four. So the year would be four, and the number would be 60.3. So now I need to find the slope, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So uh, x1, y1, x2, y2. Plug your numbers in, come out with your slope. And then for this one, because they gave me that point right there, that point, whenever x is 0, this value here is the y-intercept. So that's what b is. So when I'm writing my equation, this m is going to go right there. And then this number, 51.7, will be my y-intercept. OK. Now, once I have that equation written out, then it says, what's the predicted egg population in 2000? Well, from 1994 to 2000 would be six years. So once you have this equation, then I'm going to put six in for x and uh, solve. All right. Uh, here's another question. Uh, similar, we're just using the slope inter or the slope formula. So they say you figure out what k is. So here's two points, and they want to know what k is. But they say that it's parallel or the same slope as this line, uh, or those two points. So if I can find the slope between those, y2 minus y1, so it'd be negative 6 minus 3 over x2 and x1, um, 1 minus 5. So this would be a negative 9 over a negative 4, which is a positive 9 over 4. So that's my slope of that line. And if they say this line is parallel to it, then I can use the same formula, minus y1 over x2 minus x1. But this is the slope I'm going to put in right there. So it'll be 9 over 4 is equal to, now let's call this x1, y1, x2, y2. So y2 is at 8 minus y1 is a k, Ooh, that's awkward, over x2 is a 4, minus x1 is a negative 3. So just simplifying a little bit, I have 4 plus 3, that would be 7 on the bottom. <clears throat> now to solve for k, uh, I want to get rid of the 8 and the 7. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides by a 7. So that'll give me uh, 63 over 4 is equal to 8 minus k, because these sevens cancel. And then uh, I want to solve for k. I think I'm going to add k to both sides. I'll add k here and add k there. So on the left side, I'll have k plus 63 over 4 is equal to 8. And now I'll subtract 63 fourths from each side. So k is going to be equal to whatever 8 minus 63 over 4 would be. 15 and 3 quarters. I'm thinking negative 7 and 3 quarters, I think. Or that's the same as negative 31 over 4. Or negative 7.75. Something like that. That's sort of how you do that question.